Hey everyone, Nick back. Uh, today I'm going to be discussing five ways to avoid data disasters in your business. So data disasters can come whether you're prepared for it or not. It really doesn't matter if you're on Christmas or if you're on vacation in Florida. You can lose all of your business data uh, through many ways, whether it's a server failure, natural disaster, or a ransomware event. So here are five ways to make sure that you're prepared for any of those worst case scenarios. Number one is the most important, that's business continuity with data backups. When everything else fails, uh, all the, you know, the fail safes we have in place, business continuity can save your business. Uh, a data backup, which we use, which I've mentioned a lot in these videos, they have a host of features that you can learn about in the last video I posted. But one of those is uh, being a nearly perfect recovery system. Uh, a written business plan uh, that the IT provider and the business owner design can be implemented when a disaster happens. Uh, this will mitigate expensive downtime and offer returns on the monthly cost that you pay for, uh, for that service. Uh, number two, that's gonna be employee training. Employees can either be your biggest uh, weakness or your best assets. Uh, some employees may be lacking in computer safety, uh, such as clicking on every link and email that they receive. But these employees can be trained uh, through cybersecurity training to help curb those habits and protect your business from those phishing attempts. Uh, as you know, most phishing attempts do come uh, through email, which is gonna be number three, email protection. Uh, the most common method of ransomware delivery is through the email, uh, an email protection service such as Mail Protector, which we use, uh, that can catch uh, spam and malicious emails before they hit your inbox. Not only does this cut down on entry points for the hacker, it can also boost productivity uh, to your business by removing spam from your inbox entirely. Uh, number four, that's going to be a separate networks for everything. It's not best. It's not best practice to have guest Wi-Fi on the same network uh, used by your employees. This is just another entry point that a hacker can use to, uh, to compromise your data. Uh, you should always make sure to discuss with your IT provider about ad, uh, about uh, adding any new devices to your system. Even smart thermostats and other smart devices. They can be used as entry points for a hacker. So whenever you're adding something new, always discuss it with your IT provider. And number five is gonna be outsourced IT. If your data disaster does strike, having outsourced IT can take a huge burden off uh, you and your business. Uh, it's best to uh, trust the experts when it comes to data protection and recovery. Uh, when looking for an IT provider, you should have one that has 24 seven, 365 monitoring and a live help desk, both to stop disasters before they happen or to mitigate the effects of a disaster should uh, it happen to your business. Uh, so those are five ways to avoid a data disaster in your business. I'll be back again tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you again soon.